the St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle is widely known as the most beautiful coin design ever produced by the U.S. Mint. Designed by the renowned sculptor Augustus St. Gaudens, the beauty of this coin was so inspiring that it sparked the renaissance of American coinage. This was a 14 year span of time in which every circulating coin was redesigned by a famous artist of the day. And today I'm here to give you a crash course so you know everything you need to know about this iconic series. The St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle was designed by Augustus St. Gaudens and minted from 1907 to 1916, and then again from 1920 to 1933. The genesis of this coin, however, began with President Theodore Roosevelt, who wrote to his Secretary of Treasury, Leslie Shaw, in December of 1904, saying, I think our coinage is artistically of atrocious hideousness. Would it be possible, without asking permission of Congress, to employ a man like St. Gaudens to give us a coinage that would have some beauty? But the chances that Augustus St. Gaudens would work with the Mint were very small. You see, St. Gaudens had previously been commissioned to make a medal for the Columbian Exposition in 1893. When the design was changed without consulting him, he vowed never to design for the Mint ever again. If there was one man who could change his mind though, it was Theodore Roosevelt. Like St. Gaudens, Roosevelt was a man of art and culture. These two men shared an artistic vision akin to that of the ancient Greeks. St. Gaudens recognized this shared love of art and accepted Roosevelt's request to create an inaugural medal for him in 1905. This strengthened the relationship between St. Gaudens and Roosevelt, opening the door for St. Gaudens to design coins for the U.S. Mint. Both St. Gaudens and Roosevelt sought to create a coin series that would represent American values and showcase high quality art, like coins from ancient Greece. St. Gaudens' design was so beautiful that it got the ball rolling for every circulating piece of coinage to be redesigned by a famous sculptor in a short 14 year span. This time period is known as the Renaissance of American coinage. The St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle was the first circulating coin designed by an artist not employed by the US Mint which means that the design was unlike any other before. Augustus St. Gaudens was inspired by the sculpture of Nike of Samothrace, known as being a masterpiece of ancient Greece. And that statue is currently in the Louvre in Paris. Both St. Gaudens and Roosevelt were fascinated by Greek coinage and Greek art, so it was only fitting that St. Gaudens Liberty would draw from that iconic piece. In St. Gaudens' design, a full-bodied liberty strides forward as a torch lights the path before. The torch represents enlightenment, sending the message that wherever enlightenment goes, liberty follows. She raises an olive branch in her other hand, symbolizing America's desire for peace. The U.S. Capitol resides in the background, noting that Liberty had already visited the United States and was on her way to enlighten the rest of the world. Rays of sunshine signal hope of a new day, just as Liberty brought new hope to America. In the first year only, Roman numerals were used to depict the year that the coin was struck. This had never been done on American coinage before. The reverse depicts a young bald eagle flying over a rising sun, symbolizing America's youth and its potential to share justice, freedom, and liberty all over the world. The first St. Gaudens gold double eagles struck in 1907 were struck in high relief 
This was done to mimic Greek coins, which were hand struck in high relief. As mint technology was not as advanced as it is today, they were unable to strike high relief coins efficiently enough to satisfy demand. The production of these coins was so strenuous to the mint's machinery that coin presses and coin dies were breaking down. Additionally, the high relief format posed issues for the banking system due to their inability to stack. So the relief was lowered down for the remainder of the series. The original design did not initially feature the motto, In God We Trust, for 1907 and part of 1908. President Theodore Roosevelt believed that the word God should not appear on coinage, as there was no way to know if that coin could be used in illegal or immoral ways. He even said, such a motto on a coin is irreverence, close to sacrilege. The American public believed otherwise, and Congress mandated the phrase for all coinage partway through 1908. Because of this, there are 1908 issues both with and without the motto. Like most coins, St. Gaudens gold double eagles have some areas that are particularly difficult to strike and often show some weakness in the details. On the obverse, the highest points and most difficult to strike are Liberty's knee, chest, and face. On the reverse of the coin, the highest point is the American Eagle's wing. These highest points on the design of this coin are also the most susceptible to wear. During the course of the St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagles Mintage, it was struck at three different mints, the Philadelphia Mint, the San Francisco Mint, and the Denver Mint. Of the three mints that struck the St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle, the Philadelphia Mint struck the most consistently and is the only mint to strike the high relief version in 1907. The San Francisco Mint building that struck these coins was known as the Granite Lady. San Francisco Mint coins have an S mint mark on the obverse above the date. All San Francisco issues were struck with the motto, In God We Trust, meaning no example of the S Mint St. Gaudens series appears without that motto. In 1916 and 1930, the San Francisco Mint was the only mint to produce St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagles. The Denver Mint struck issues for nearly the entire run of the series. The 1908D is one of the only issues struck without that motto, In God We Trust. The D mint mark can be seen on the obverse of the coin above the date. Below the date, St. Gaudens monogram or initials can be found. These initials are often mistaken for a mint mark, but keep in mind the mint mark appears above the date. In a full collection of St. Gaudens gold double eagles, there are about 50 issues. And depending on which varieties you count, there could be up to 54 different coins. There are several ways to collect St. Gaudens double eagles. Some collectors like to collect by mint mark, establishing a set of, say, Denver mint coins, for instance. Others like to collect one example from each mint. Others would like one example of every year, regardless of mint mark. Most popular it might be a type set of all the different major types. Some collectors they just want a complete set of every single coin. The original design of that first year of issue 1907 St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle was struck in high relief. These issues were struck using Roman numerals for the date. As the only example struck in high relief, these are the closest to Augustus St. Gaudens and President Theodore Roosevelt's true vision for this coin series. Starting at the end of 1907 and continuing into the beginning of 1908, the coin was struck in a lower relief. Other changes made to the coin's design include showing the date in Arabic numerals, you know, 1907. These three issues, 1907, Philadelphia, 1908 Philadelphia, and the 1908D are also known for their lack of the motto, In God We Trust. After public outrage, Congress passed legislation 
that required the phrase on all American coinage. In 1908, issues were struck with both the motto and no motto varieties. The motto, In God We Trust, was added to the reverse below the American Eagle, right along that rising sun, and it remained there for the remainder of the series. In 1912, both New Mexico and Arizona became recognized as states. The number of stars on the obverse of the St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle reflected the number of states in the Union. So in 1912, the number of stars increased from 46 to 48 to reflect our new states. The two additional stars were added below the date, nearly on top of the oak leaves. From 1912 until the final issue, 48 stars appeared on the obverse of the coin. In 1933, the U.S. government recalled gold coins from American citizens to stimulate the economy during the Great Depression. As a result, 39% of all gold double eagles struck were melted down by the government. This means that many issues of the St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle are difficult to acquire in any condition. No example of this series has been graded in perfect Mint State 70 condition ever, and Mint State 69 examples only exist due to their discovery in various hordes. Coins graded in Mint State condition are absolutely stunning and are highly treasured by collectors. As the coin that kicked off the renaissance of American coinage, the St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle is recognized as one of the most important coins produced by the U.S. Mint. When Augustus St. Gaudens was personally chosen by President Theodore Roosevelt, neither could know that their efforts to create the most beautiful American coin would be so wildly successful. With such wonderful history and absolutely stunning design, the St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle belongs in every coin collection.